the Boston Marathon. It's often referred to as the marathon of all marathons. But to take part, you have to qualify, which makes it all the more special. So this week, I have one goal, to qualify for the Boston Marathon. It's Monday afternoon, we're six days away from the race, and today, we just have 11 miles at a very easy pace. No run for me today, but I do have an hour and 40 minute bike ride with some Ironman intervals. Wednesday now, we're four days out from the race, and I'm a 45 minute run today, pretty much just easy, but I do have five by 400 meter pickups just to loosen up the legs a little bit. Another day, another bike ride. Two hours today, I've been on my computer for the last nine hours editing, so I'm in desperate need of a break. Another crazy busy day today. Just finished filming the end of Fitness Frenzy. I had an easy swim this morning, and now I just have a steady 45 minute run. But it's Friday, which means it's just two days away from the big day. Hello there, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, I put uh, your goal, I uh, put sub three hours, but really it's a 253 to a 255. Yeah, and what does the heart rate need to stay below, do you think? Like, if it gets to a certain point, should I, where should I be worried? Look, 180, 183 is ideal. Okay. And I will see you tomorrow at mile 10. Yay, okay. Alrighty. All right. Thank you very much. See you then. Bye. Have a good one. You too. Bye. So that was my coach. Just had an hour long meeting going through everything from mile one to mile 26. What I'm going to eat, when I'm going to eat it. If things go wrong, what are we going to do? Very helpful. So thank you coach for that. I know you'll be watching. Thank you. But the plan for tomorrow is very simple really. It's we want to qualify for Boston, but also we want to get back to training on Tuesday. So we're not going for the fastest marathon I could run. We're going to execute a plan, have fun, enjoy the day, and just soak it all in. Just heading out on the final run before tomorrow's race. 35 minutes today, and there's absolutely nothing to be gained from going too hard. So I'm gonna go 15, 20 minute warm up, nice and easy. Then finish it off with some strides and some pickups, just to loosen up the legs. But I'm feeling good. My legs are feeling amazing. And I'm so excited for tomorrow. So yeah, what I'm trying to get is that we, we're there with you at the start. We see you as you come back in on your first loop. We see you- So mom's been sitting here, looking at the course maps for the past hour and a half, trying to figure out where she's gonna pop up along the course. She does this for my Ironman races, and it is so helpful for me because she just pops up just at the most random points and cheers me on, and I absolutely love it. But as an athlete, you don't really realize how much these supporters help you and how much time they put in to figuring out where they're gonna see you on the course. So, mom, thank you so much for doing this. I love it every time you do it, and it is so very helpful. You're welcome, Ben. <laughs> So it's dinner time now, and I figured I'd just show you guys my go-to meal before a race. When I'm training, I don't really worry too much about what I'm eating, but when there's a race coming up, I kind of have a staple go-to meal so that I know my stomach will be fine on race day. It's plain pasta, we add some butter, and we've got a few meatballs just for a little bit of protein. And this has worked in the past, and it's gonna work again. So I've got everything set out here that I'm gonna need for tomorrow. It says it's supposed to be just under freezing for the start of the race. So I'm kind of in two minds as to what I'm actually gonna wear. So I've got arm warmers, hat, gloves. I'm just gonna bring way more than I think I need and then make a game time decision in the morning as to what I actually wear. But it's just coming up on 9.30 now. So I'm gonna head off to bed. 
but I've got my alarm set for 5 a.m. So I'll see you guys bright and early for the big day. Good morning everybody and welcome to race day. I'm super excited, but it doesn't mean I'm not tired. So let's head upstairs, get some coffee and some breakfast, and then we'll get going. So just like last night, where dinner is really important, breakfast is equally as important. I have a staple, a go-to, it's a plain bagel and a banana. Works every time. And also, I couldn't go without my coffee. Ah, that's better. Just taking one final look at the race plan so I remember what I'm supposed to be doing today. But I'm ready, I'm all packed, I've got everything I need and more. So let's head over there and let's get ready to run 26.2 miles. I can't wait, I can't wait. <laughs> Okay, time is definitely not on my side right now. It's already 6.50. Uh, probably just a five minute warm up will do right now. Got busy talking to people, seeing all the friends, so that's okay. But um, opting for just the arm warmers this morning, I think. I'm not actually too cold. I have so much in general and I'm so excited that these will do me just fine. But I uh, gotta do a warm up now. And it's go time, baby. And let's go. Okay, quickest warm up ever. Not ideal but it'll do, just get the legs moving. But I'm so excited, my legs are feeling really good, which is amazing. Let's head over to the start now and get ready for the marathon. Group hug, everybody! Yay! <laughs> Best support crew ever! Ashley, this amazing moment right here with you. Made it with five minutes to spare. It's marathon time, 26 miles. I'll see you guys along the way, and I'll see you at the finish. Let's go. All right, miles one through 13. We gotta stick to the plan here. 6:30 to 6:40. It's a long time, long way to go. Stick to the plan, Benny. Let's do this. Mile one, 632. Heart rate's right around 160. So we're good. Great start. Keep it steady. Long way to go. Uh oh, it's a little quick on that mile. Mile four, 626. Heart rate is still low 150, so we're good. But no faster. No faster. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Throw that one away. Picked up a goo. Almost six miles in. Feeling amazing. Team DR, baby! Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Just coming up on 11 miles. Nice to get back up to some flat road for a bit. It is hilly. Hills aren't too bad. But I just gotta make sure that I keep them steady. Don't spike my heart rate right now. The heart rate is, uh, Maybe a little high for upper 160s. Running 620 pace right now. But uh, yeah, we're doing good. 
having a great time. Loving it. But still, a long way to go. Thank you. So here we are, the support crew. We sit down, work out on a map where we're going to try and support Ben around the course. This is the 12.5 mile marker. The lead runners are just coming through and Ben is about a mile behind, so we'll be seeing him fairly shortly. And then we're going to divide and conquer. I'm going in that direction and Dad is going in that direction. <laughs> Mile 12, 6.11. At this point, I just committed to it. We're not slowing down, at least not on purpose. I keep going. We're almost halfway. So let's just see how we feel. Ah! Yay, Ben Boy! Woo! We're to the front half. In a 123.35. Definitely well above pace. So we can just keep it steady now and uh, focus on the next 13. Go, Ben! Hello! Mile 17. Even with the bathroom stop we still put down a 630 so we're good still feeling good and only nine miles to go looking good ben Woo! keep it up Whee! mile 20 coming in at 549 that was our fastest mile yet we're doing okay hamstrings definitely tightening up a little bit but only six to go now mile 23 604. We're hurting now. Three miles to go. Come on. Mile 24. 657. Had to stop for the bathroom again. That's okay. Two miles to go. Hamstrings are really tight. We're just going to cruise to the finish here. We're so close. So close. Come on, baby. Ah. Going to Boston, baby! Yes! We got Nancy at Brookhaven, we got Gabriella at Atlanta, we got Andy. I hope I got like Charles from Liverpool. Oh, I'm so You're right. Yeah, I'm just a bit sore. Yeah. My leg, my hamstrings are sore. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're all sweaty. You did great. Uh, thank you. My legs are a bit sore. Yeah. So, 2.46, that was great. Two bathroom shots as well. Two? Oh dear. What are you doing, Ben? My hamstrings are so tight. But I'm so happy. We did it. Yes. Ah, oh, what a race. So tired, my legs are in a lot of pain. But I'm so happy, we did it. A 2.46. We're going to Boston, baby. We gotta get home now. I got a football match to watch, Liverpool's playing. So we gotta head home now, rest my legs, and uh, just enjoy the rest of the day. Well, we did it. Coming in with a final time of two hours, 
46 minutes and three seconds that guarantees my entry into the 2025 Boston Marathon. That's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, be happy, be healthy, and be yourself. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.